Alright you guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Today's video, we're going to cover my gyno recovery for probably the 20th time. Today's video is going to be titled, Six Months Post Surgery, and that's exactly where we're at. I had my gyno surgery on the 29th of November uh, 2017, so it's just over six months. Today's date is the 5th of the 6th, 2018, so we're at the 5th of June. I had this six months and one week ago. My recovery, if you'd like to see how it went, exactly how it went, um, I vlogged the whole entire thing and my recovery different, definitely didn't go as planned. Um, it wasn't smooth sailing as some of you guys may know already um, and, and what that's left me with is a recovery, a very, very extended, a very long recovery. You know, the recovery at the end of the day is still going to be just as good as anyone else's. It's just taken a hell of a lot longer. So with that being said, right now I'm going to show you guys exactly how it's looking. Um, my first week of recovery didn't go as planned and that's my fault. I did things against the, the, the advice of the, of the surgeon and against the advice of everyone else. Um, for one thing, I took out my drains too early and another thing, I actually flew three days after getting the surgery, which is, you know, not good for, for any uh, injury or, you know, surgery that's just been done. I think you should definitely stay in the spot that you're at, the, whatever city or country you're in, um, stay there for at least the first week so you can continue to visit your surgeon if needed. You know, I actually traveled away from the, the city that my surgeon was in, so all I could do was ring him and it wasn't sufficient. It really wasn't, you know, I needed to be there. Um, to get the complications sorted out. Fortunately, I found a surgeon here in Alice Springs who had done many, many uh, gynecomastia surgeries in the past. Although they hadn't been for cosmetic reasons, they had been for, you know, medical reasons. Um, for example, people getting, you know, a, a growth or a tumour cut out from their mammary gland, um, and in which case they'll just remove both mammary glands. It's basically a male um, mastectomy. Mastectomy. It's a male one, male version. You're taking out the mammary gland, you're taking out all of the breast tissue, um, and you're left with the muscle. So with that said, that's where we're at. It's six months since I've had the surgery. I waited 15 years to get this fucking thing. 15 years. And then I had to go through a six month recovery and we're still not done. But my channel in this video is all about being as open and transparent you know, and honest as possible, and that's exactly what we're going to do. So I'm going to take off my top and show you where we're at. Okay, let's do that. Just, uh, forgive me, guy. <laughs> forgive me, my hair is a bit crazy at the moment. We're going to sort that out. But for now, we're just going to put the beanie back on and have a, have a good look. So, <clears throat> so this is, this is where we're at. The left side was the side that healed up a lot faster than the right. The left side is, you know, there is no real hard tissue anymore. That is all, you know, that's basically the line of the, the pec muscle. Um, if anything, I could get a little bit leaner and, you know, get some of this sort of stuff to come off and then it would really be a nice, you know, contoured line of the muscle. But at the moment, you know, I'm quite happy. Um, this this nipple used to be you know way out here now it's it's sort of coming underneath the muscle like I always knew it would and the breast tissue is gone it's gone it's gone this is my fucking chest finally you know this side you know as you can see it's it's definitely come in a lot from e even just after the last update I did after four and a half months in the last month and a half it's come a long way once again, you know, this, this line here is getting, is getting really, really solid and hard, which means that any sort of excess scar tissue slash leftover blood from the hematoma is slowly, slowly going away. And I'm happy to say that this sort of mass that I can, I can grab uh, has definitely reduced. So in the last month and a half, it's probably gone from, you know, a good, a good sort of four centimeters across down to probably what's about two centimeters across and you know what I've actually done I have massaged it you know I got a few comments in the last video asking if I had uh, done any massages on my pecs to try and you know break up some of that 
that scar tissue and the whatever was left over there and to be honest in the last month I have done I've really sort of you know grabbed it on a daily basis sort of tried, tried to squeeze out some of these excess parts at the back and you know I, 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 I feel as, low, as though that has helped I really do I feel like it has helped and I probably should have done that from day one but here we are six months post-surgery man my chest looks a hell of a lot better it looks a whole lot different you know some of you guys will have a way worse case than me I realize that but you know doesn't matter doesn't matter how bad your case is man if you can't live your life confidently if you can't wear whatever you want to wear because of that you know if it's holding you back um, if you can't walk around you know with with your shoulders back with your chest out like a man is meant to then it's it's not fair man and you need and you, you should get it sorted out that's what I believe so this is this is how I'm looking at the moment um, and here we are six months post surgery so over the next couple of months I would say all that's going to happen is this you know this discoloration is going to just continue to go this mass is going to start to go like this side which is completely soft right now you know I'm, I'm really happy with that um, and, and this is just I don't know man it's hanging around it's fucking hanging around it doesn't want to go away but it will eventually another thing you guys want to do is get lean get lean I mentioned it in the previous video get as lean as possible before getting the surgery because that is going to put you in the best position to get a nice result you don't want to ha like if I was still 20% body fat right now I would not be able to see this line like if I was if I was you know if I didn't get lean all of this would be filled up with with body fat and so would this and you'd probably still think you had gyno like I needed to get lean just to make sure that I got a good result and that's what I'd recommend you guys do too so anyways with that said I'm gonna leave now I'm not gonna put my top on it's gonna to take too long I've got to get out of here I've got some stuff to do. So with that said, I hope you have a great day or a great night wherever you are in the world. If you're looking at getting surgery done, by all means, follow my journey, look back at my journey, you know, follow it, see what I did wrong, and don't make the same mistakes, okay? So I'll see you guys in probably another month or two for what will be hopefully the final update. Okay? Peace. Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up.